Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the tutorials on Galaxy for Bioinformatics. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to import data from the SRA database to Galaxy. Alright, so I have some examples here that I will show you. So if you are going to import data from SRA into Galaxy, you don't need to download the data and then upload again. You can just use the session IDs. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Right. So we are going to look at two things here. We are going to look at getting the data in the fast queue format. So we will look at single end and then pair then data. So you can see I already have some example data here, but I'll show you how to do them now. So first of all, make sure to create an account on the Galaxy platform and then log in. Then you can proceed. So let's start. So we will begin by creating a new history. All right. So that will help us to track our data. So what I'll do is to create a new history for myself. So I'll just come to this side, click on create a new history. So I'll just name it SRA. That's it. Perfect. So I now have a new history. So I'm going to import the data into this history. So after doing this, then we need to go and take a look at our data. I mean, there are different ways to get the accession IDs, but for now, let's just say we know the accession IDs. All right. So I'll start with this one here. Let's go with this one. So I'll start with a single end data. All right. So I will leave this assertion ID also in the discussion. So this one here, that's what we have. I've been using this data a lot in my class. It's a long read data. So I need this assertion ID. Or you can also check here. Okay. So I will just leave the link, the useful links in the description. So use them to get assertion ID. So for now, there's assertion ID. So I'll just do a copy. And then I'll come to my Galaxy platform. And then when I'm here, there's a tool that can help us do that. So come to this site, tools, and search. So type SRE. So when you type SRE, you have a list of apps coming here. So we have to use this one. We will use the faster download and extract routes in fast scale formats. All right. So there's the tool itself. Right. So if let's say SRE is not returning, you can just also Type this, let's say faster download, etc. So you can just type this full text here. That will also bring the two here. So any of them should be fine. The most important thing is to get the two. So after getting this, we just click it, and then you will have this interface coming up. So we need to enter the accession ID or accession IDs. But for this particular scenario, we just want a single accession ID. We are going to use a single accession ID. Let me put it that way. And so when you are here, we already have SRR accession, but it doesn't necessarily have to be SRR accession. All right, so you can use that or you can use any valid accession ID like what I'm using. Mine is not SRR, but it's still going to work. But if you have the SRR accession ID, so that's perfect. That's great. You can still use it. All right, so any anyway, it's fine. So this one will work. Anyway, we'll try with the SRR also. That's fine. So let's come back to our Galaxy platform. So here, just paste your accession ID. This is what we are going to use, right? So yeah, you can even see it says, must start with SR, DR, ER, etc. So we are already using the ER, which is valid here. So that's what I was making mention of. So you paste it here, and then that's it. You don't have to do anything. Just come and then run the tool. So you can run it here or here. So any of them is fine. So now click run tool. So when you click it, you will have some stuff coming up here. Okay, so we will have to wait for the data to get ported for us and then we can proceed. So let's wait for that to be done. Okay, the data has been imported, so we have it here. So we can continue. Now we have four outputs here. So we have paired end data, we have single end data, we have other data, we have fast scale dump log. Now these two pair then data and then single data these are data set collections so data set collections allow us to combine multiple data sets into a single entity and then you can do a batch processing all right so it's a powerful tool that you can use to process multiple files or multiple samples now let's take a look at them let's start with a single end all right so single end if you just look at it, it says a list with one data set so one so if you click it you'll find the data itself here you can still click it to just look at some properties here. So this is what? Pascal database 
etc. Anyway, so the most important thing now is that we have the data imported for us. Let's go back to the main history. So because we are learning with a single length data, this one will be zero. Okay, so it says a list with zero pairs. If you click it, there's nothing there. Because this accession ID that we are using, the data set that is linked to it is a single length data. So that is why this one will have a data in it. There's an entry here, but this there will be no entry. So that's what you need to you know. And so depending on your analysis, you can choose to remove this because it's zero by the way. And other data is also zero, so you can also remove it. And the fast kill dump lock here, there's a lock file. So you can use it to look at what happened or what was done. I mean, it's locked. So we can check it to see, to get more information about what you did. So this is how we import a single end data. I repeat, this is how we import a single end data from the SRE database. Now let's try with a paired end data. All right, so I will still proceed. I think. I should have labeled this as single end. So let me just do it this way. I'll, I'll relabel it and then we will create a new history for the paired end. So I'll say SRE data sets, I'll say paired, uh, this single end. This is single end data. Now I've just renamed it. All right, so we have done. So here, if you are done with the important, you can perform your other analysis as well. Now this data here, I've used this in another tutorial so you can check it out. So this is a, an Oxford nanopore data. And so I've also shown how to assemble Oxford nanopore data with Fly on the Gladi platform. So I also use this same data. So if you're interested in that video, you can check the question box for it as well. All right, so let's proceed. So we can do this. Let's create another history. And then this time we are going to import paired end data. So our just click this, let me do this. I'll click on the history again. And then I'll get a new one. I'll say SRA data sets. I'll say pair then. And then I'll move to that particular one, which is, let's check. It's this one here. All right, so this is, a paired in it is Illumina. Okay, so it's still the same isolates. Okay, so the same isolates we had the nanopore data and we also had the Illumina reads. So I'll even link the paper as well. The link to the paper that generated this data is available. So you can use that. All right. So let's do so we are going to import. So again, we need the accession ID. So there's the accession ID. So you can just copy it. Now this paired end. So you can just copy it. Let me just recopy again. Yeah, again, the link to this page is in the description box. So just check the description box, all the useful links, all the materials will be there. So don't worry, just go there and then just take it. So I'll copy it and I'll move to the Galaxy Terminal. Yeah, Galaxy Platform. You know, I've been using the Terminal a lot, so sometimes I miss them, but there's a platform. Anyway, let's continue. So we have our paired end data sets. So again, come here. We already selected the two, but if you've not done that, search using SRE or you can also search, you can see faster download and then you can just click to select the two. All right. So now we are dealing with paired end data. All right. So again, it's the same thing when you come to SRE session, that's what you need to have because we are dealing with a single sample, by the way. And then when you come to a session and you just paste it there, and then just come to click run to. There are other things you can do, but I mean, for now, that's what we are going to do. So just click on run to, and then you can wait for everything to get imported for you. All right, so you have the output here. And then what we are going to see with this data is that the single line will be zero, and the pair then we'll have one. All right, so let's wait for everything to get done for us. Okay, the pair then data has been imported. So we see the output here. Now, because the session ID has been linked to a pair then data, we have the pair then data set collection populated. So you can click it and then you have the ID here. You can click it again and then you see your folder in reverse. Now let's get back to the main history.
the single line data collection, there's nothing in it. It says a list with zero data set because there's no single line data available for this accession ID. All right, so that's what we have. Now you realize that we run the two, this two here, we run it twice. So for each of the each of the execution, we supply a different accession ID. But it's possible to do a batch download. So batch download is where we supply this two with multiple accession IDs. So it's possible to also do that. So let's do that. That will be the last activity. All right. So let's do this. We can just create a new history. I like doing that to keep track of my stuffs. So here I'll just say SRE data sets. I'll say batch download. So I can save it. So it doesn't matter whether it's single end or paired end. All that you need is the session IDs. Okay, but for this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate with just a paired end data. All right, I repeat. It doesn't matter whether it's a single end or paired end data. All that matters is the session IDs. So for this tutorial, for this part of the tutorial, I'm going to use paired end data. All right, so I have some accession IDs I'll use. So let's do this. Let's just look at the accession IDs. I have them here. So I have these accession IDs here that we are going to use. All right, so what I want to do is to also copy these accession IDs and paste them in a text file. All right, so if I'm using Windows, you can use Notepad. If you're using Linux, you have your gene edits, etc. So just make sure you have the session IDs saved in a text file. So I have mine here. Let me just show you. So this is my file here. So it's here. All right. So if you want to do a batch download, I mean, meaning that you are going to supply the tool with multiple accession IDs, then that's what you have to do. Let's just look at it here. I'll just close this first let's get back here so that's what you have to do you have to first upload the data i mean when i say data you have to upload the file the father has the accession ids let me just repeat in order to perform a batch download using the tool that we are using you have to first make available the file which has the accession ids that you want to use so i.e the text file in my case so we have to upload. So let me just show you again. So this has my session IDs. All right. So all I have to do is to just upload this file here. That's what I'm going to do. So let me get back here. So on the Galaxy platform here, what you have to do is to come to this side, upload data. So click upload. And then I'll just come here and then I'll just drag. I'll just click and then drag it there. And I'll just do it. You can also click the choose local files and you can select the file that you want. So this will allow you to locate the file. So you don't need to only drag. You can always click and then choose local files. So that's also possible. All right. So once you have the name of the file here, that means you are ready. So you can click on start. And then when, once it gets to 100%, you also check here and you see the file being shown for you. So once it's done like this, you can close this and wait for the file to be uploaded for you. So let's wait for that and then we can continue. Okay, the file has been uploaded. So you can click it just to check. So you'll see your entries here. All right, so once you have the file uploaded, then you have to come and select your tool again. All right, so... If you don't have the tool, just search for it. You can use SRA or you can just type faster download, etc. to get the list here. And then you can click the tool again. Okay, so after the tool has been opened for you, then you have to specify the information you want. So here it says SR accession. But because we have our information, the accession like this in a text file, we have to change this. So I'll click it and I'll select list of SRA session per line. Okay. You can also use SRA archive and current history. That is if you have some available. But since we are using a text file, we have to select list of SRA session, one per line like this. So this is what you should select. So once you select this, 
if you already have the text file uploaded, then it should appear. All right. If it doesn't appear, you can just click to select it. Okay. And then that'll be it. So once you have it selected, that's it. You just come and then run it too. So you can click here to run. You can also click here. So now I'm running it. So I have to wait for the data to be imported for me. So let's wait for everything to get done for us. Okay, the data has been imported. So we have the output here. The session IDs I supplied were all paired and tested. So we have the paired and tested collection we populated. So here it says a list with three pairs. You can click it and you'll find the list. All right. You can click on each of them and then you will see the forward and reverse reads. You can also download them if you want. The single end data set collection is empty because the session IDs we use do not have single end data sets. So take note of that. It's also possible to import into Galaxy data sets from a particular study or from particular studies. So if let's say you know that this study, or let's say study A, study B, they have data sets and these data sets have been stored on the SR database, you can import them into Galaxy. So for that, you need to use some source for this. An example has been given in this tutorial here. All right, so this tutorial here showed how to use some search strategies to obtain SARS CoV 2 data from the SR database and import them into Galaxy. So I will encourage you to check this tutorial out. The link to this tutorial is in the description box. So just check it out. You can also get more tips on how to download and delete data in Galaxy by using this tutorial here. Again, the link to this tutorial is in the description box. So just use that. Okay. Sometimes you may want to remove files from the Galaxy platform. You may want to permanently remove files. Maybe you are exceeding your quota and therefore you need to free up this space. All right, it's possible to permanently remove files. So of course, I'm curious on that. So check the description box, you'll find a link to that video. You can also check this tutorial out here because this tutorial shows how to download and also delete data in Galaxy. So check that out. If you're also looking for more Galaxy tutorials for bioinformatics, and I will encourage you to check this playlist right here.